A lot of folks don't realize how important drinking water actually is. So I'm here with Ashanti, do a health core class in water and hydration. So how much water do you drink a day? I try to drink at least three bottles of water a day. All right, so that's the gold standard. So take away the class. Got all the health core kids mm. over there. All right, guys. So how much water do you guys drink a day? And if you don't drink water, what do you drink to substitute it? I, I drink water every day, and I drink at least, like, two... Two to three bottles as well. Um, I'm really nervous. <laughs> so, um, yeah. That's fine. What do you drink if you don't drink water? I drink juice. I don't drink soda. I cut soda out oh, because so, I'm trying to clear my face. Very good. Good for you. you to pass it over. That's your coordinator over there. So what's it like having these kids in class? Are they paying attention to the, the water advice? Yeah, they, they really do listen. Um, I check to see if they're walking through the hallways with water bottles. Um, they get prizes if they come into my classroom with water or... What kind of prizes? Um, we have different health core gear, so you can see them wearing their health core t-shirts. Um, no, no cash buttons. prizes? No cash prizes. <laughs> <laughs> no cash prizes, unfortunately. Um, they get their own water bottles so that they're encouraged to fill them up with water. So they, they really do take it in and they really do listen. Ask them about the prizes, see if they're good enough. You can have that up here. <laughs> Are those um, prizes good enough for you, really, for yeah, water? Yeah, they're, they're pretty good. Like, I like the T-shirts and the buttons and stuff. <laughs> so. now, is it drinking water on its own good enough for you? Um, yeah, we don't really ask for a prize. Like, I didn't really know we was getting a prize for drink drinking water, so. Well, that's good. You know, drinking water is cool. Like, you're cool if you drink water. Mm -hmm. You look cool. <laughs> yeah, you feel cool. <laughs> How does your body feel differently when you drink water? When I drink water, I feel more energized. I feel like I have more energy. With drinking soda, or juice, it like it's too much sugar. You don't like after a while, you your body just like slows down. Get tired. Yeah. yeah. Sleepy. All the good reasons. Let's go teach them exactly what it is that happens inside their body when they drink water. Why you feel better. Why your skin looks better. Mm -hmm. Why you actually can perform at full speed and not back your way through life. Yeah. Come on over. Let's go, Shanti. Pay attention now, guys. Now, I couldn't have you around and not do the ultimate demonstration. She's wearing the color of water, blue. <laughs> I'm hydrated. She's hydrated. So come and stand over here. I built you a model of your body. Oh, this my is gosh. It. This is me? This is you. Right? Oh, I got to drink some you, water. You like the resemblance? <laughs> I so love it. Here's your mouth. Okay. There's your body. And, there of course, is. this is where you go to the bathroom afterwards. Okay. All right, which is how most of us actually try to figure out how much water we're supposed to drink. You've got organs in here and tissues and cells. and These only work... They really only work if you have enough water. So go ahead and drink some water up. This is my water? That's your water. And as you drink water, pour it in there. As you drink water, everything starts to move, right? Your organs start to run around. Your tissues begin to go fast speed. And, of course, a little bit comes out the bottom. But look at your cells racing, your tissues racing. Everyone's really happy here, right? That's what you want. Everything moving as fast as it can. But if, if, instead of that normal amount of water, you're gently doling it in. Go ahead and put that in there slowly. Okay. That very delicate uh, water intake isn't enough. You have to always match the intake to the outtake. So between breathing and sweating, if you're working out for that 45 mm -hmm. minutes on the treadmill, it should be an hour, by the way. <laughs> they, you, know, you don't match. You get dehydrated, right? And notice the organs aren't happy. The tissues barely putted along. Cells aren't doing much at all. And other things begin to happen over time. You start to get dizzy. You start to get lightheaded. And you start to, to lose your tears even. You can't even cry anymore. Mm -hmm. And then you can put that down because we're done. Because there's not enough going on here to not make it happen. Going on. So what ends up at the end is you get severe dehydration when there's not enough fluid to get your body to roll. And then it leads to shock. Mm. Ooh, like that. Shockingly. You don't want that. You don't want that. At all. So the question is, how do you know how much water to drink? Here's the clue. Are you all ready? We all heard the eight glasses rule, right? You were giving me the amount that you drink in, in terms of the amount of bottles of water. Right. From now on, I want this to be the gold standard. Your urine needs to be clear enough to read through. Oh. So look, can you see my face? Mm-hmm. How do I look? <laughs> right. So if you can see through it in any look through, look in the mirror if you want, read something through it, doesn't frankly matter. But if you can read through your urine, mm -hmm. it should be a very light color, almost clear, a tiny bit of straw color, mm -hmm. then you're okay. If it's darker than that and you can't read through it, that means you're getting dehydrated. Absolutely. So I think mine is a little lighter than that. I actually have a sample from this morning on you. <laughs> yeah, we collect all the urine in the I knew that's what happened when I was. It was weird, wasn't it? That clicking sound? <laughs> all right. So come come on over here. So let's show everybody how we actually can get enough water. Because you don't just have to drink water. 
This is one of the big issues. The amount of water you drink, there's, you know, we came up with these ideas from the Second World War. They were very straightforward concepts, but it turns out that most of food is actually water. Mm -hmm. So walk us through the tips. Tip number one, eat spicy foods. You like spicy foods? I do. I love spicy foods. You look very I, spicy. I'm kind of spicy. <laughs> I like jerk sauce. I like jalapenos. I like peppers. Like I'm, I'm spicy. So the major benefit of spicy foods is you'll go grabbing water pretty quickly. Absolutely. You are, right? <laughs> it also, by the way, stimulates your metabolism. You got that going for you if you're trying to lose a little bit of weight. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next thing we got to do is actually make fresh fruit ice cubes. Mm. Have you ever tried this? I love that, yeah. So put it in the freeze, freezer. Once you get it to the, you know, cut the blocks up first. Use these to hydrate your water or just eat them like little pops. Yeah. And they're fantastic and you get tons of water from them. But the best way of all is just frankly to eat your water. Watermelons, strawberries, cucumbers. Mm -hmm. You put them on your eyes afterwards. Celery, these are all mostly water. Absolutely. What's your favorite produce? Um, I like a nice cucumber salad. I put mangoes, cucumbers, onions, and a tiny bit of cayenne pepper. So it looks like it's kind of all of this stuff. It's a hydrated salad. It's a hydrated salad, I like that. So you heard it from Ashanti, drinking water every day keeps you hydrated. It keeps you healthy and it keeps you happy. Did yes. you enjoy teaching the health core kids? I loved it, it was awesome. You know I love kids. I can tell. <laughs> All right, so listen to her, listen to her.